Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and today I'm sharing a powerful new iPhone feature that helps you stay focused on what matters most. It's called Priority Notifications, and it's part of iOS 18.4. I'll show you what it does, how to turn it on, and if your phone doesn't support it, there are some great alternatives available that you can use right now. Let's get started. Priority notifications are a new Apple intelligence feature that puts your most important alerts right at the top of your lock screen so you don't miss what matters. Let's say you're expecting a message from your doctor or a reminder to take your medication. This feature keeps that alert front and center, even if you're getting swamped with less important ones like games or social media. How it works is your iPhone learns which apps and alerts you interact with most and quietly moves those to the top automatically. No need to set anything up once it's turned on. This feature only is available on iPhones with Apple intelligence, including the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, all iPhone 16 models, including the new iPhone 16e. If you're using an older model, don't worry, I'll show you some easy alternatives in just a minute. To turn this feature on, you'll need to open the Settings app, locate and tap on Notifications, find Prioritize Notifications, tap on that, and make sure to toggle the switch to green. Now you're in control. You can customize which apps get priority. You can scroll through the list and turn off priority for any apps you don't want popping up first, like games, shopping apps, or social media platforms. Here's how it helps in everyday life. You're waiting for lab results. Those alerts come first. You're using Maps navigation alerts appear at the top. You're coordinating plans, messages, or calls from family. They stay visible. You may have used uh, other notification features like Scheduled Summary, which bundles low priority alerts to show later. So if I tap on the back button in the upper left corner, come back to the main notification screen, you'll see uh, right here, scheduled summary. If I tap on that and I turn on scheduled summary, I can choose when to schedule these low priority alerts so that I'm not inundated with uh, all kinds of notifications. Or maybe you've used the uh, summarize notification. Um, and these uh, basically just condense updates, but priority notifications are live and always right at the top of your notification center. If your iPhone doesn't support this feature, don't worry. There are some great tools built into iOS that can help you stay organized and in control. The first one we'll look at is uh, focus modes. So if I go ahead and I open the settings app and I locate focus, here I can choose which people and apps can reach me during certain uh, like times of the day, whether I'm relaxing or sleeping. So if I come into this area, I can create a focus if I want to, or I can choose one of the focuses that are available and then tweak it for what I want. So if I choose personal, I can then choose which people are allowed to, for me to like receive a call or receive a message, or I can silence notifications from certain people. So you can choose who and what can notify you. So I can also go to apps and do the same thing. I can silence notifications for the Maze apps, or I can choose to allow notifications. So this is perfect for when you want a quiet morning or you're winding down in the evening, 
or maybe you're just going to sleep. The second option that you can use if your iPhone doesn't support priority notifications is scheduled notification summary. So again, we're inside of the settings app. I'll tap on notification. Here, I'll tap on scheduled summary and toggle that switch on. And now you can group less important alerts and have them delivered at scheduled time so that your lock screen stays uh, uncluttered. So here I can say I want the first summary at 8 a.m. and then a second summary at 6 a.m. And then I can choose which of these apps I want to receive summary notifications from. The third option is that you can customize app notifications. You can adjust alerts one app at a time to reduce clutter. So again, I'm inside of the settings app. I'm going to tap on notification. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see all of your apps listed here. I can tap on an app and then I can choose to allow notifications from this app, and then I can add it to the scheduled summary if I want. I can allow it to come into the notification center. I can have it announce notifications. So basically, you can choose the alert style, the sounds, or turn them off completely. It's a great way to silence the noise while keeping the essential things front and center. If you use the mail app, you can mark certain people as VIPs so that their messages always alert you. So if I come into the app library and I search for mail and let's open mail and I'm going to go to all inboxes and I'm just going to scroll down. And if I decide I want uh, Joseph Michael to be on my VIP list so that I receive his messages right away. I'm notified about them. If I tap on his name, I get a chance to add him to my VIP. So I can tap add to VIP. And now anytime I receive a message from him, it's going to show up in my notification center and I'll be uh, alerted immediately to that message. The last option I have for those of you who can't use the uh, priority notifications feature is use the ring silence switch on your iPhone. You can quickly silence all non-critical alerts using the switch on the side of your iPhone. Alarms and emergency alerts will still come through. Priority notifications are a great way to take control of your alerts but even if you don't have the latest iPhone, there are still powerful settings you can use to stay focused and feel more in control. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more iPhone tips. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.